Losing your job, going through a divorce, battling a serious illness, life can really throw us some curveballs. But our next guests say when you feel the chips are stacked against you, that's when you need to persevere. They've written all about it in their new book, The, the Stuff. Stuff. Unlock your power to overcome challenges, soar, and succeed. We're going to talk to Charlie Jeter and Dr. Samson Davis in just a moment. But first, here's Charlie's story. My name is Charlie Jeter. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was 21 years old. I was a senior in Spelman College in Atlanta and just found out that I had cancer. It was very tough for me to grasp at that time, but I think that what I did was focused on wanting to be at school and I didn't want to be delayed from graduating with my friends. So I worked really hard to convince my parents to allow me to do treatments in New York and fly back and forth. It's the treatment itself that makes you sick. You don't feel the cancer, you feel the medicine. My brother's reaction was uh, like any big brother would react to me. He was very calm, supportive, but his reaction, you know, behind the scenes, he'd call my parents and it'd be a different tone and what's going on and drilling them, what happened at the doctor. He was a little bit more shaken up than what he showed to me. I was working with a really good friend of mine, Dr. Davis, and he was explaining to me how I had this stuff, this resilience, and you were able to overcome something in a way that most people would look and say, this is nuts that you were traveling back and forth. The stuff is something that everyone has with them. They are born with it. You develop it over time. I think it's important for any kids to understand these ideas. And I think the sooner we teach young people that they have these elements within them, the quicker they're able to start working towards their goals and dreams. Sweet. Wow. You guys got, you both got the stuff. Charlie, that was beautiful. Yeah. Your son, by the way, can we just give a little sure. shout out to the cutest little boy ever? <laughs> you should yeah. set him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My Haley. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've already told you that. Okay, <laughs> that, that is definitely yeah. happening. So you talk about having the stuff and somehow yeah. it's locked inside all of us. Did you realize you had the stuff, Shirley? Or no, just... I think it takes, you know, close friends or family members to let you know. And sometimes when your family tells you, it's just like, oh, you're supposed to say that. You know, yeah. you're my parents or you're my brother. Of course, you're supposed to say that. But sitting down with um, Samson and having a discussion on a plane ride, um, and he said to me that I had, you know, we didn't call it the stuff at that time, but when he said that to me, that I had this inner fortitude and this strength, I was like, oh, maybe, yeah. you know, well, if I did, let's figure out what it was. How to harness it. Exactly, so that I can use it again. You got the stuff too, Dr. Davis, is that right? Well, I would think so. I'm not for sure, but I feel that I do. <laughs> but uh, yes, it's just the inner fortitude to survive and overcome and, and live your maximized life. And with Charlie and her story, she made it seem like cancer was just do laundry, kick cancer in the butt, yeah. go to dinner. Like yeah. it was not, it, it did not impede on her life. And that attitude carried forth in everything that she do. Your book is full of personal stories from a lot of different people, but you have like 11 great components that Essentials. people can follow. Yeah, yeah. and the, we're going to just go through three of them. You say, first, choose hope. Right. So we just explained the elements. We wanted to interview a lot of different people. We have about 15 stories in the book and find the common thread. Uh -huh. And if we could find that common thread amongst all of them, different walks of life, then that, that's what we would call the stuff Yeah. and write about. So choose to hope is the first the first element, and that's making, you have a choice to decide you're gonna tackle the yeah. next task or to overcome something. So that's the most important element, I think, um, is starting with hope and just believing you can do it. Uh -huh. Attitude. Yeah. Attitude, Jim. All right. The other one, the next one, develop your team. Yeah. What's, what's that about? Yeah, and, and that's key. Uh, we collected hundreds of stories and we narrowed it down to 15 stories for the book, but develop your team is, is essentially you have to have people supporting you, your family, friends, you have to have a network. Uh, you see it with Charlie and her family. We have the O'Neill's family that's in the book as well. Uh, uh, Glenn and Carol O'Neill has a daughter with a syndrome called San Filippo and they quarantined themselves for two years wow. in the house until the gene therapy was developed to help treat their daughter. Wow. wow. This third one that we're going to hit is an important one. Refuse to give in to fear. I mean, everyone has that voice in the back of their head that's telling you to be afraid. How do you do that? You know, it's just, it's being, trying to be fearless, knowing that, you know, it's okay if you fail. Um, if you're trying, well, actually, if you're trying to improve your life, there is no way to fail, yeah. right? So don't be, don't let fear stop you from overcoming. 
So if you are feeling overwhelmed, this might be the book for you. It's full of inspiring right. stories and great kind of takeaways. Exactly. Girl, yeah, I know. you we'll did it. You actually yeah. did it. And so did Samson. Yeah. Samson, you did it too. All right, yeah. thanks so much, and God bless you both. Yeah, thank thank you. you. To learn more about the stuff, head to today.com slash shop. We will be back with more right after this. Yes. yes. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.